Hello ladies, this is Linda from Linda's Romper Room. I gotta get used to that now. I'm so used to saying my sweet cupcake. But I wanted to show you our little doll here, our Maddie sculpt. I think I've come up with a name. I think I'm gonna call her Ruby because of those ruby red cheeks. But I want to take undress her and let you guys see her body. And then I'm going to do two shout outs towards the end. And I was tagged by Carol's Cuties. So I want to follow through on that. But let's take this baby. Let's close off so you can see her up close. I think that I might have stuffed her head too much, her face. Um, to tell you the truth, I ran out of stuffing for her. So I had to actually fill her head with, we're going to have to lay her down. Yeah, let's see how this works. I really do wish I had gotten the bald one. Uh, I may, down the road I may do that. I may get the bald one and pass this on to a friend of mine, but we'll see. Right now she'll do, I'll tell you what, I do love this sculpt so much that I would buy the kit and paint it. Um, I love the chubby legs. I love her arms. Um, yeah, I love it more than I thought I would. So, oh, I have to show you her body. I just forgot what I was doing. I have a lot of different things on my mind today. Things I needed to get done. It turned out that the diapers I bought fit her okay. So these diapers from AliExpress really run big. There, I could make it a little bit bigger on her. I put a Wonder Wafer in her, so she smells really good. It's raining again today, ladies. It's, today's the first day of spring, but it doesn't feel like the first day of spring. I have so much stuff piled on my dresser that I have to clean up today. And clothes that I have to wash. Okay, so that's her body. I think that's shadow on her. It's a shadow or it's Wonder Wafer is sticking out there so let me show you her booty she's got a pretty big booty <clears throat> and I mean her body is nice you could replace it with a different one but I don't think for her size it's necessary so let's see this is a zero to three I've had this in my closet for years and years and years. I can see there's a lot of shadow being cast. I think it's turned the light on. I don't have the light on. There we go. This looks like, hmm, that may be the first time that one of those powder wafers might have oil might have gotten on my body. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to check that out. But anyway, this is Child of Mine Carter's 0-3. to three. And the reason it's still hanging on the hanger is because it was too big for my other babies. Sizings really are crazy, aren't they? So I am going to try it on her. If that doesn't work, we'll try something else. I don't have a... 
What is it going to say? I don't know what it's going to say. I was actually going to do t-shirt diaper day and toddler Tuesday, but now I haven't changed my mind on what I'm going to put on her. I need you closer to me, baby. Sometimes if you check to see if you can see her. Yeah, that does not feel wet. It just might just be an illusion. So I don't know if this is going to fit her. Of course, we'll find out. Definitely going to have to go to Goodwill and find clothes for her. Because she is much bigger than the other babies. I got her weighted so perfectly though. I just love, love her weighting. How I got it on the first time, I'll never know. So let's see if this is long enough. Oh look, oh we gotta put the diaper back on. Yep. What do we do with it? Here it is. This diaper does not have a liner in it. It didn't come with a liner. So she doesn't really need the liner part. She's already chunky enough. Yeah, like I say, I think I overstuffed her face. I don't remember what I was telling you guys. I ran out of stuffing. And I had to stuff her head with cotton fabric. And I really stuffed it in there tight and to the point where there was a ball of fabric down in here, which I was able to stick in the body, which helps her little head stay up better. But I may do the trick I did on Sandy and get a piece of flexible piping or even regular pipe, not piping, pipe. And uh, do her head like I did Sandy's so her head will stay up all the time. Well, this is pretty snug, but I think we'll be able to get it on. I did get her some more things from AliExpress. So, can you sit up and show your panties would you like sitting up her chubby thighs are so cute she's gonna look different because of the lighting maybe it's better without the light I don't know I don't like her painted hair I don't think about that kind of stuff, but let's see if I can get her. Where did that will go? And I think I'll leave her barefoot, her little chubby legs barefoot for today. But let's put this pink headband on her. Okay. I'm going to do my tag, which was from Carolyn's, Carol's Cuties. I'll put her, her channel name somewhere in my description. And um, she tagged me for the kindness tag. I love um, Carol's channel. I like her, her as a person. She seems like really, really sweet and I will say that I'm drawn to channels, people's personalities, as well as their dolls. So I really am enjoying her channel. And she has twin Saskia's little girls. You have to pop over there today and see them. They're super cute and I miss my, I miss my Haley that I used to have. These bows, you can kind of stretch them however you want them. So yeah, Carol, thanks for tagging me again. And I am going to 
tag two new channels. Kelly's Doll Nursery, brand new channel. Um, both of these channels don't have a huge amount of subscribers, so we want to pass this kindness tag around and help these ones get their channel going. You guys all helped get Debbie's channel going. And considering it's only been about 30 days, she's gotten a lot of subscribers in 30 days. So I want to tag Kel Kelly's Doll Nursery to uh, what Kelly needs to do is say something she likes about my channel and then tag one or two other people to keep continuing that on. I know I'm all over the place. I'm not thinking. The other one is... Karen at Follow Your Dreams Reborn Nursery. She's brand new too. So Kelly and Karen, you are tagged to keep this tag going. So that about wraps it up, ladies. This turned out to be a little longer than normal, but there she is. Like I said, I just love... I, I do love this sculpt, and uh, I did order green glass eyes for her. I think that's going to make a difference. And then, of course, when I put eyelashes on and do my thing. But I am tempted to order her in a bald baby and then just add my touches that I like. Um, I like the new Levi that's out that has open eyes but I want him bald, as a baldy, so I won't be buying that from AliExpress until they have a baldy one. But yeah, Maddie Sculpt is not available right now, but if she was available, I might buy the original and paint it. This is what I was saying the other day is so nice about this. I'll let you look at her chubby legs. What's so nice about this is you can try a sculpt out and see if you like it. And uh, if you do, then buy the original. Of course, if you paint it yourself, that works. If you don't know how to paint, it's not so easy. I had to remove the paint from her lips, and that was a little tricky. I had some paint remover that was cloppy, but I used a Q-tip, a pointed Q-tip, to get that orange paint off of her but it worked so I could do it again so anyway thank you for watching talk to you all later and let's keep the tag the kindness tag going <laughs>